Alright, so let's talk Steam Deck battery life. Steam Deck is definitely my favorite handheld console to date, and I'm sure it is for a lot of other people as well. Now obviously, right here I have the original Steam Deck, not the OLED model or anything like that. This is the sort of revised version with a slightly better cooling solution, but this is the original processor, original battery size, and original LCD screen. It's not the LCD upgrade. So playing super demanding games, you can only expect to get anywhere from one and a half to two hours of gameplay. Now this is Halo 4, which is a very old game at this point, so it's not that demanding. So you can see that I get closer to three hours. But if you're playing a newer game, whether it be the finals or PAL World, you can only expect to get about one and a half hours on a standard Steam Deck. But in Halo 4 right here, this is a much older game. You can see that we're sitting at right at three hours at 80% battery. Let's switch to a much more demanding game. Opening the finals on the Steam Deck always gives you this silly little message, which looks really funny, but the game actually does run just fine. All right, just keep everything kind of consistent. Here's the finals. We're at 81% battery, but you know, give or take, we're around 80%. Well, now we're at 80%. And in the finals, we have about 80% battery. Let's run around a little bit. We have about an hour and a half of battery remaining, and it looks like it's just trickling down from there. And we'd probably get a little above that had I had it charged to 100%. So the main thing is just getting the most out of the battery life on your Steam Deck so that you don't have to make constant trips to the wall outlet. And so that if you're somewhere on a long trip or whatever where you can't charge it, you can play your games for a little longer. Obviously, you can just play an older game like Halo 4 and get closer to 3 hours. So, you know, that's a pretty obvious thing. If you play an old game, you could play for much, much longer. But let's just say you want to play a new game, like the final specifically. Battery life is not looking too good right now. Now we're running at about 60 FPS. And something pretty obvious that we could do is and put it at 30 FPS. So now, as you can see in the top left, we're running at 30 FPS. And our battery life has almost gained about 20 to 30 minutes. So now we're closer to 2 hours of battery life. And while it does feel pretty smooth, the input delay is actually pretty awful at 30 FPS for whatever reason. So if you want to get extra 20-30 minute, but you don't want as much input delay, you can set it to 40 FPS. At 40 FPS, we are still getting close to 2 hours of battery life, but the input delay is much lower and the gameplay is much smoother. So just from that, we've gained you know anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes of battery life just from playing with the frame rate. We're at 40 FPS right now, you can go lower to 30 or higher to 45, whatever you want. And then a really big thing is actually down clocking the processor. So for argument's sake, I'm gonna put this back on 30 FPS. And then basically drop the wattage right to the point where you can still hold a steady frame rate. Obviously there's no gun fights or anything happening right here. So it would be different in actual gameplay. Drop it from 15 to 10 watts, and it looks like we're still holding 30 FPS. Put it from 10 to 5 watts, and now we are only getting about 10 FPS. So let's put it back up to 8, not quite holding 30. Put it at 10, perfectly holding 30. Put it at 9, 8, 9. So it looks like 9 watts is the lowest that you can go in the finals and still hold a constant 30 FPS. As you can see, we still have 30 FPS, and that's gotten us up to about... 2 hours and 15 minutes just about. So we've almost gained an entire hour of battery life. Something that takes up a lot of battery in the Steam Deck is actually the screen brightness. If you have the screen at full tilt brightness for a long time, it actually does get quite warm. So I'd recommend keeping the screen below 50% most of the time, especially whenever you're indoors and you know you can see the screen anyway. After that, we're sitting at 2 hours and 23 minutes, 2 hours and 24. So we've almost gained an entire hour of battery life. And then these last few settings right here are basically the last few things that we can do. So let's click allow tearing and half rate shading. So this is going to make the game look not as great since the shading is not as high quality and stuff. So the resolution may look a little funky and stuff like that. But we're still holding 30 FPS and this is a game that's not even playable on last gen such as the Xbox One. So our battery dropped a little bit but after all those tweaks you can get roughly two and a half hours of battery life and as you can see the estimate still going up so that's an entire hour on top of what we started with on a hard to run game but on a lighter title I'm sure you'd be able to get even longer all right so Doom Eternal is a game that runs very well in the Steam Deck at ultra nightmare graphics we we're able to get a smooth solid 60 FPS all day long but of course it is pretty demanding so we're gonna get about an hour and a half to two hours 
with a full battery. I'm at 70% and I'm getting about an hour and a half, so you get closer to two hours in a full battery. So let's use some of these same settings that I used earlier. And we are playing Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare Graphics, absolute max. And even with that said, with just those little optimizations and running at 30 frames per second, we're now getting closer to two and a half hours, close to 70% battery, which is, you know, almost an hour more. And then we can go to the wattage and crank it down. So let's put the wattage on 10. We're still holding 30 FPS, 9, still holding, 8, 7, all right, we have some dips at 7 watts, so 8 watts. At 8 watts, we're still pretty much holding 30 FPS. So after all that, you should be able to get well over 2.5 hours of battery life on pretty much any demanding game in your Steam Deck on a full battery. I'm getting just about 2.5 hours on 70% right now. I guarantee you'd be able to get closer to 3 on an absolutely full battery. So you can see that we're still holding a 30 FPS. Obviously, the frame rate's lower, so you know, it might not be the smoothest experience, but if you need an extra hour, hour and a half of playtime, me personally, I would sacrifice a little bit of visual fidelity just to get that extra time. So right now we're sitting at two and a half hours. Let's undo all the changes I just did and show you guys what it looks like. All right, undoing all those changes, we're at 60 FPS. I put the brightness back where it was. Change the wattage settings, all that. Our estimated battery life of two and a half hours is steadily dropping as it's estimating it, but we're probably going to be closer to one and a half hours. So yeah, if you just want a little extra battery on your Steam Deck just to make it through a road trip or whatever, that's just a couple little things that you can do, and you can squeeze out an extra hour, hour and a half on newer games, but on older games, whether it be your old Halo or Terraria or, you know, just easier to run stuff, you should be able to get much, much more out of it. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys out, and that's all for me. I'm out. Peace.